All right, now, as a code collaborator on a project, you can submit code, as I was saying in the last video. You can add code to the project. So here I am, logged in as Professor Steve, and I've invited my other account, Pitcher17. With this account, I want to be able to submit code to the repo. So I've sent the invitation, and then as Pitcher17, I went to my email, I got the invitation, I said yes, and I accepted that invitation. And so now I've got access to here. I have permission to actually submit code. So what I'm going to do, you can see here, I'm logged in as Pitcher17. This is Pitcher17's account. I'm logged in here. I'm going to create a new branch. So uh, let's say README feature. I'm going to just add some code into the README. So that's the name of the new branch. I've done that. I've reloaded it. This is the branch right here. I'm going to go over to my GitHub desktop, and you can see that I'm logged in as Pitcher17 here. And I'm able to check that. If I go into Preferences, that's where you can find all your account information. All right, so I'm logged in here. There's no uncommitted changes yet. I'm going to go back over. Actually, sorry, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to switch. Uh, oh, I have to sync this. So I download the new, there it is, the README feature. So I sync it. Now that I'm synced, I am looking at the README feature branch. I will go over into brackets, and I will add this. There we are. So I've added a new heading. So new heading from a collaborator. This is something that as Pitcher17, I've done this in the code base. I'll jump back over here, and there we are. I will put my updated readme. This change was made by Pitcher17. I don't have to put that in there. It will track who is making the changes. So I'm going to commit and sync this. There we go, it's syncing. There we are. Now I've synced this. If I go back up to the website and I refresh this, there we are. So the readme, that was the last change that was made here. So I've made that change inside of the branch readme. It's not made inside of master. So the readme feature was updated but the branch master does not. So we want to be able to merge that. We want to be able to put the two of them together. So I'm going to go into the compare and pull request section. And this is the change that I want to make. I want to take the readme feature branch and push that into the master. Or in this case, I want to pull from here into master. So that's what we're doing here. We're creating a pull request. Now I'm still logged in as Pitcher17. I click on Create Pull Request. Here it is. So it's saying this branch has no conflicts. We're allowed to do it. I can merge the pull request. So the first one was putting forth the pull request to say that, hey, you know, I'm taking this branch. I want to pull that into the master. So again, it checks and says we're fine to do it. So go ahead. Yes, clicking this button. And they want us to confirm because this is the kind of thing you don't want to make a mistake on. And now that is done. Now, I have a choice here. There's a button for deleting the branch. If there's no other changes you're going to make on the branch, you can. Like, I can click Delete Branch here, and it is done. Now, if I jump back over to the Code section, I'm back on Branch Master, and there it is. There's the heading that I added. So it's back in the master branch. And all this has been done through the Pitcher17 account. So there's the process, same as it was as if I owned this. I just was a collaborator. I was given permission by the person who created the repo. So they're kind of the top level admin for this repo. I'm just making a contribution to it. All right, so I hope that clears up uh, any questions that you have about being able to post something to a repo as a collaborator. You can create branches. You can 
make changes to those. You can push them up to the server and then you can pull them from the newly created branch into the master branch so that the master branch has all the code details. Now I will be making some videos in the future about how to handle merge conflicts, um, but that's a topic all in itself. So as always, thanks for watching.